the importance of more kindness and gratitude in today's world. Guided spiritual meditation for calm and focus. Career guidance. Tips for singles to be more positive with dating during COVID and strategies for couples to be more loving and supported during these stressful times. All this today and more on season five and show 101 of Lessons in Life and Love with Coach Rihanna Milne. Welcome to Lessons in Life and Love with Rihanna Milne, where we show you how to have the positive mindset for success in all life areas. It's time to have the life you desire and the love you deserve. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Season 5 and Show 101, the first one of the season for Lessons in Life and Love podcast. I'm your host and global life and love coach, Rihanna Milne, coming to you every Friday on LessonsInLifeAndLove.com and on every favorite podcast app. I'm all about helping you transform your life in all areas into one that you're passionate about and to help you attract and have the love you deserve. I'm on a mad mission to change the way the world loves, so you'll learn how to have emotionally healthy, evolved, and conscious love and how to avoid toxic, painful, traumatic relationships, which are just too prevalent today. It's time to help you create the life you desire and to have the love you deserve. So if you have a personal concern, I invite you to meet with me for a life and love transformation discovery session this week. Just sign up at my website, rihannamilne.com. So let's dive in, love angels and transformers. Today is a sample class of my new group called Motivational Meetup Mondays. It's a group for women and men of all ages, singles and couples for 10 weeks. We're going to have the top 10 topics that impact people today during the time of COVID and the holiday season. The Motivational Mindset Meetup program for singles and couples covers the top 10 topics that my clients seem to want information on most. They are spirituality, essential spiritual awareness for life, happiness, balance, go from stressed out to having balance in life, career, and relationship, mindset, go from fear and doubt to personal power, purpose, and success, healing, break free from toxic relationship dynamics to have the love you deserve, purpose, create the life you desire using goal setting to create a career that you love, health, Healthy body, healthy mind, essentials of daily health for mind, body, spirit, and happiness. Consciousness, understanding how childhood trauma is impacting your life, changing those normalized patterns in life, love, and business. Parenting, skills to use for emotionally healthy and confident kids, the framework for their success, or if you have parents and struggle with them, success strategies to help you with your parenting relationships. Dating, essential skills to finding the one in today's world and continue dating your partner if you're in a coupled relationship and relationship do's and don'ts. Now that you have a partner or maybe married to one, how to sustain conscious love. And Motivational Monday starts November 2nd and goes through January 4th of 2021, 10 Mondays from 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. And there's still room to sign up. Just go to my website, rihannamillen.com, motivational-mondays. Let's begin. Welcome, everyone. This is a sample class of Motivational Meetup Mondays. And when I have my classes and my clients, I often suggest that they join meetup groups to meet new people, to get support, to meet new friends, and maybe meet somebody very cool that you could do business with or date, just some kind of mutual support. So that's why I threw the word meetup in this group in a way to play off that whole idea. And I'm forming this new group because I really want to give you all support during COVID. That's the most important thing. And the holidays are hard to begin with for a lot of singles. And now that we have this isolation, it's harder for us to visit family. It was designed with that in mind to give you all support through the new year. And I wanted to give this sample class so you kind of got an idea of what we'll do and a little bit of information on the back end when I'm done teaching this class about how the group works. And you're welcome to join us. That would be amazing if you did. In the meanwhile, I was preparing for this class and 
I know some of you get to read my email, some of you skim them, but I did find out last, was it Saturday, that my son-in-law Charles has COVID. That was a scary shock. Stefana so far seems fine. She's my eldest daughter, and I have two little grandsons there, Logan and Simon, who are seven and five. And I've been in business over 21 years as a psychotherapist, starting first in New Jersey. So I have New Jersey people and family and clients as well as Florida people, as well as my global friends, clients, and business friends all over the globe. So it does become family when you're going through this isolation and you build this email group and groups that join your classes. It does feel like family. It's nice that you're all here and we can support each other. And I appreciate when I ask for prayers and blessings for Charles, and I know many of them sent that to me. So I'm most appreciative. I'm very close with my daughters and my son-in-laws are like my sons that I didn't have. They are my sons now. And I'm blessed to have four grandsons and one little granddaughter. And the last two are a set of twins, Zai and Zahara. My family is very important to me. I don't get to see them all the time. And now during COVID, especially we are separated. My email people become my family. My business friends are my family. My clients are my family. And we're quite a tight group. And I'm glad that you're here tonight to experience some of that. Our agenda tonight is Motivational Monday will always start out with a motivational reading. There's different books that I buy throughout the years that I hold on to that are special. And I do sometimes my podcast with a motivational reading to start. As some of you that don't know me, I'm also an interfaith minister, so I do have a spiritual base to me. Spirituality is a very important part of healing. And I'm not talking religion, I'm talking spiritual belief system and some kind of a higher power so that you can heal. And my specialty area is helping those with past unhealed childhood trauma or love trauma. And I help people create the life they desire and to have the love that they deserve because life is short. And I've lost two very dear friends along the way. One when we were 16 by a drunk driver and my college roommate who was killed by her boyfriend. In their spirit, I continue to teach. I offer free classes several times a year just to help those and to inspire those to be the best that we can be. And that's always done in Michael's and Corinne's spirit. I wanted to start out, I opened this book to this page when I was looking through my poetry and I found this one and I said, oh my God, this is so perfect. Family is one of life's greatest gifts. The best feeling in this world is family. From it, we draw love, friendship, moral support, and the fulfillment of every special need within our hearts. In the family, we're connected to an ever-present source of sunny moments, smiles, and laughter, understanding and encouragement, and hugs that help us grow in confidence all along life's path. Wherever we are, whatever we're doing, whenever we really feel a need to be especially loved, befriended, supported, and cared for in the greatest way we can turn to family and find the very best always waiting for us. And that's by Barbara Hall. And ironically, many of us did not come from ideal families, but along the way, we make a family through our good friends, through our business friends, through the client-coach relationships, we become close like a family. So no matter where you journey in life and no matter what age you are, always have the belief that you can always meet and have new family members. My best girlfriends from New Jersey moved down to Florida after I moved here. They're my sisters. I'm closer to that than my real sisters. You can have family wherever you go. My clients, they touch base for me over 21 years that I've worked with. I remember every one of them. And when they text me, boom, I'm right there. And I want to remind you that even if the family of origin was difficult, you can have family every step of the way. So I hope I can enlighten you to feel that way. Then to open up today's meeting, which is about gratitude and hope and love and kindness, because our world is in, oh my gosh, the negative messages we have received since February of this year the fears around COVID and then the political unrest, 
and people just wanting to be loved and heard and appreciated for who they are, no matter where they live and their belief systems, we all need to be kinder and more gentler people. So that's kind of the message around tonight to get out there and share the love however you can, the inspiring messages and messages of hope and belief in yourself and in others and in our world and not be judgmental or hurtful in any way. I do have a mixed family, an interracial family, And it's amazing that prejudice, even in my generation, is still out there. And someone who doesn't accept my family doesn't accept me, right? So who are we under our skin? We are hearts, we are souls, we are feelings, we hold memories. We all have the ability to share the message of love and hope and brother and sisterhood no matter who we are, no matter our sexual orientation, our beliefs, we are all God's kids, whoever you see him, her, or it to be. That's kind of the message I'm trying to put out there in our world tonight. This is Arthur Unknown from the same book, which is called A Day Book of Gratitude, How to Live Each Day with a Thankful Heart. Be thankful that you don't already have everything that you desire. If you did, what would there be to look forward to? Be thankful when you don't know something for gives you the opportunity to learn. Be thankful for the difficult times. During those times, you grow. Be thankful for your limitations because they give you opportunities for improvement. Be thankful for each new challenge because it will build your strength and character. Be thankful for your mistakes. They will teach you valuable lessons. Be thankful when you're tired and weary because it means you've made an effort. It's easy to be thankful for the good things. A life rich of fulfillment comes to those who are thankful for the setbacks. Gratitude can turn a negative into a positive. Find a way to be thankful for your troubles as they become your biggest blessings. And I really related to that too, because those of you that know me for a while, my journey wasn't the easiest. And yet I always had faith that everything would be okay. And it's so important that we have gratitude as well as we're going through um, our most difficult times. So I wanted to open up a little bit tonight on gratitude. This was something that I wrote up on gratitude practice because I think that's important. And then we're going to go into tips for singles and then tips for couples using these messages that I'm talking about this evening. So the first one is on gratitude. And we have to, there's two different ways to practice gratitude. Robert Emmons is one of the foremost founders and researchers on gratitude, and he defines it as a sense of wonder, thankfulness, and appreciation for life. And first, we can acknowledge the goodness that is present in our lives. My coaching clients, we start every day with our 15 minutes of spiritual divine meditation, which we will do after the gratitude exercise because that's part of our meditation. And it's important that we recognize the everyday blessings that we do have because it sets something in our hearts and our brains. And it's science related. It's true. It does release different chemicals in our brain. So when we start our days with gratitude every day as a regular practice, better and more miracles come to our life. Um, It's great that Natalie's on the call tonight. She's one of my current VIP uh, clients, and she's had all these fabulous miracles keep coming to her recently. And, you know, when my clients come to me, they're in a state of uh, anxiety and depression and um, feeling stuck in different areas, and they start these different practices, which we call the mindset for success, And each day as they're doing that, they just keep growing and changing and evolving. And then miraculously, like it all comes together. And in my last email, I was thinking of all my current clients and all these different beautiful miracles that are coming to them. And it didn't start that way in day one or lesson two, but slowly, step by step, it all started coming together. Like Casey got her dream job as a marketing director. Natalie just fixed up this amazing home and had a lot of work to do and got that all done and got her sale within a few days of listing it. And together we got her another 10 grand on our cash offer. I mean, there's just so many miracles that can come to you that you can manifest. 
It's a faith that you try these things, you try the mindset work, and you will see it comes together. John just found his ideal flip house. He's been looking for over two years. He was also nominated for an Emmy in sound design. We've got Shandell, who just found her ideal home. She wanted a beach home her entire life. Never had the guts, felt stuck, didn't do it. We found her the one that she wanted exactly right next to her family. She wanted to move near her family. And she ended up that the one next to the family right there became available like a miracle. So she now owns that place. So everybody's goals and dreams and wishes, no matter what they are, are starting to come together. And as their coach, I just feel so blessed that I'm part of that journey. Gratitude is something that we have for each other and for our own lives. It can be external, visible behavior, like thanking someone, or it can also be private and internal, like we're talking about with part of meditation every day. Why practice it? Well, all this research has shown that it's definitely a key to psychological, physical, and social benefits on the body and mind. The psychological benefits, it definitely helps people be happier and better in performance across all their life areas. So more clear focused mental and emotional health is up, lower rates of depression, and it helps buffer against depression. So of course, during COVID, this is important to know. It decreases your stress and increases your positive mental states like joy and optimism and peace tranquility Talk about always feeling like i'm in a zen state so i'm like peaceful but i'm energized and that's a good feeling all the time some of the health benefits it reduces stress related illnesses it helps you with sleeping it raises the immune system and it also encourages you to exercise more you have more personal energy the interpersonal benefits they show that the research that you have stronger and better friendships and definitely more satisfying romantic relationships. Think about it. For my couples on the call, when you're very grateful for everything your partner does, those manner words, thank you, babe, for cutting the lawn. It looks beautiful. Or thanks, honey, for cooking for me tonight. That was an amazing meal. You know, how often do we say the pleases and the thank yous and I appreciate it and really mean it? Not to say thanks and walking off. It's so important to show gratitude from the heart, not just the words, right? When you do that with your partner in a love relationship, the relationship is so much happier. I know as a coach and counselor for my men in the room, they say, I never feel appreciated for what I do for my wife. I never hear thank you. She said, why should I thank you for cutting the lawn? And I said, well, do you thank her for cooking the meals and doing your laundry? or whatever else she's doing, or helping you with the kids with her homework while you get to relax. It's that breakdown in the simple niceties, the kindnesses in love that is tearing people apart. So always think, have I been kind and shown gratitude to my partners, to my friends, telling your friends, thank you so much for being there for me when I'm having a hard time, or I really love you. Thank you for that support. These are words that are so important to speak. So it definitely have, helps you in all the relationships. Even think about if you're parents and you have children, always thanking them for helping you out. And wow, you really helped mom today. I'm so proud of you. Trust me, I've raised two amazing, very successful daughters. My daughter, Alexi, who's soon to move to Austin, Texas, is in Inc. and Forbes magazine as one of the top 11 entrepreneurs changing the world. She's been putting water wells in Africa since the age of 20. What 19-year-old kid says, I want to go help people in Africa, mom, to help change their lives? Well, kids that grow up with empathy and kindness and love. So the mindset for success, these tools I teach my clients are ideal for students. If you're teachers, I was a counselor in schools from kindergarten all the way through college. These were the mindset skills I was teaching the kids in the schools. And guess what? The bullying rates went to zero, zero. When I talked to them about kindness and respecting each other's opinions, and it's okay if you don't agree, but you don't force someone's opinion down their throat. Things like this work everywhere. And when you teach kids manners and empathy and it becomes normalized for them, they become amazing adults.
So those of you that are parents, please keep that in mind and model this for your kids. Okay. It's about modeling and showing them by doing it as well. Definitely, you know, those with gratitude are more altruistic. They're more to help others. They're likely to donate to charities, be involved with volunteer work, support others for their efforts. They let go of resentments quicker. That's so important forgiveness because when I work with those with childhood traumas, if you're holding that anger against your mom or dad, or you had a toxic love partner, and you're holding that anger, then you'll hold your heart closed. There is like this negative energy around your heart. So how do you know that you're healed? If you happen to run into your partner again, which has happened to me, and there's no energy around it. I ran into someone that hurt me very much, and from impulsivity and unhealed childhood trauma, that's what led me to the research. And I just hugged him. I said, hey, how you doing? Are you okay? And I knew he wasn't okay because he was about 90 pounds heavier than when I had last seen him four years prior. And he had said to me, Rihanna, if I ever get fat, you know I'm not happy. And he certainly never got fat when he was with me. But with what he's been through, the self-punishing and the guilt, from what his actions were, you knew he was not a happy person. So all I could think of was he okay. I responded with loving empathy. And then I walked away and said, wow, there's no anger. Everything is healed. That is a wonderful way to be. And that's when you know you're ready then to move on to have new love in your life. So the healing from past partners is really important. Out of the blue, again, when I'm writing this course and in the spiritual world, there's no mistakes. I hear from another past partner who had severe childhood trauma. He's there, wow, you know, I've been listening to your podcast on childhood trauma. It makes so much sense. Why didn't I listen to you? And I was trying to date you. And you just said, you know, said, look, this isn't going to work out. You're lovely. We're just not a match. And that was true because he just could not adapt to what I was trying to teach him. And he wasn't ready to learn. You know, you can't force teachings. But he listened on his own. And he said, I just really need to apologize. I was a mess. And I said, you know what? It's okay. These things happen to you. And it's not who you are as a person. And I don't hold any anger to you. I remember all the beautiful things that you did. Like on our second date, when I had a flat tire and you insisted for paying for it, or when my mom died, you said, I'm coming right away to be with you. I, you know, so I hold on to what was beautiful about that person because you never enter into a relationship angry, right? There was loving things about your partner early on. So remember those good things and you learn to let the rest go because we're all perfectly imperfect human beings, men and women, with a lot to learn, a lot to growth to do. Some of these profound lessons, we never learn them in school, in college, or in life. We weren't taught these things. It's important that you're always growing, always evolving, meaning being the highest and the best person that you can possibly be. And when you are that person, your confidence goes up, you like who you are, and self-love is imperative before there's attraction to a new love. Okay, you will never let someone be abusive to you or talk toxic to you or treat you in a bad way. There's loving communication. There's never a reason to scream at your partner unless they're in harm's way, like watch out, you know, if they're going to get hit or something. But other than that, never. You can share your opinion from the heart. If somebody is being toxic towards you, then you release them in love. But you hold on to the good. You learn the boundaries and the lessons about what you learned, and then you just release them in love, and then you open your heart to date again. The grateful brain definitely adds something profound to your life. All the research shows that the two areas of the brain, the hippocampus, is impacted, and that lowers our stress levels. It improves our sleep and increases our metabolism, and that's why people work out more when they have a grateful and kind heart. The left prefrontal cortex of the brain is linked to positive emotional states like happiness and compassion, empathy, love, and joy. Meditating every day in the way that you know how. Uh, my clients do one that's called divine spiritual meditation. There's four divine described steps, and I would be going that into my Monday classes. Tonight, I'll do one that's called spiritual guided meditation. I kind of just channel the words and feelings that come to me when we close our eyes. 
then I'll do that for you as well. There's different types of meditation. There's, I don't like to have any hard and fast rules, but it's about going inside and being grateful and speaking what it is that you want in your life. Okay. On a chemical level within the brain, gratitude's been linked to the neurotransmitter system, serotonin and dopamine. And serotonin directly affects our moods. So when your levels are low, this is when depression shows up, some anxiety. And the dopamine is your feel good chemicals, your happy chemicals. So those that practice gratitude, their serotonin and dopamine levels are higher and you are able to anticipate and enjoy the rewards and joys of life so much better. It's fascinating. You enjoy pleasure, but you also have those boundaries. You're also responsible. You're more focused in life when you meditate. So the mindset for success is part responsibility, but also joy. I describe it as I work hard and I play hard, right? I do enjoy my downtime, but I live life with purpose and whatever pain that I experience in life, and we all do, it's important to take your pain and make it your passion and your purpose. Turn it around, help someone else that might have been through something of pain. Practicing gratitude is just one small part of the Mindset for Success system. And everything that I do is research-based. That's part of the psychotherapist in me. But knowing and that this has been time-tested and proven helps me and my clients to believe the systems all the more and practice them and know that they're working. We do like to practice gratitude on a daily basis. As a culture, unfortunately, it's very much undervalued and underused. And this is why our world seems so angry today. I am a world traveler. I love meeting people from different cultures. And it's amazing how their life is more calm and joyful in the simpler things, in the simple life. And there's a lot of gratitude expressed all over the world. The empathy, uh, when I'm going into a culture where I don't really quite know the language, I will try and study some of the words, but I always learn the manner words. Please, excuse me, thank you. And it helps me to communicate if I'm trying to use English and I don't quite know their language, but they know that I'm coming from a place of empathy. It's interesting to see around our globe the amount of gratitude and love that's expressed from other cultures. We want to try to be better examples of that here from the U.S. Some people like to keep a gratitude journal. That helps. But again, when you're practicing on a daily basis, our 15 minutes of our meditation is right after we get up and before we start our day. It just is the reminder of all the blessings we do have. And then it continues your day by the people that are in your life feeling more gratitude towards them as well. I mentioned toxic relationships for those people that are new to me and my lessons. You may not understand what toxic is, so I'll briefly just touch on that, and then we're going to do our spiritual meditation. If you've experienced toxic love, it actually is called toxic because it affects your body as much as the relationship. If you have headaches or stomach aches or irritable bowel syndrome, you overeat, undereat, you've adopted an addiction because you're so stressed out due to this relationship. Some of the signs is there's definitely a lack of support and empathy towards you. There could be jealousy or controlling behavior or passive aggressive. When they're mad, they shut down, they don't talk to you. They could be criticizing you all the time or trying to force you or your opinion on you lack of willingness to help you out or be supportive of what's important to you, manipulation, trying to talk you into things that you don't want to do, verbal and emotional abuse for sure, extreme negativity. They're never happy about anything. It's always toxic if there's yelling and screaming in the household, any dishonesty, lying, disrespect. They don't take responsibility when they do a mistake. And again, we all are human. We do make mistakes. But if the same mistake is blatantly made over and over again with disregard towards you, that's very toxic. These are just some of the symptoms of a toxic relationship. If you feel you're involved in one, I go into the research very much so in my book, Love Beyond Your Dreams, Break Free of Toxic Relationships to Have the Love You Deserve. It's a number one bestseller on Amazon and you can get it in Barnes & Noble store. And I think there's like 350 books 
that I cut into that research. So I think you'll find that you will learn a lot from that. And you can get sample chapters for free on my website, rihannamilne.com. Let's do our spiritual guided meditation. Okay. In this meditation, I'll give you some instructions up front before we start. We'll close our eyes and just put your feet on the ground and sit straight up. And then your hands are cupped one in front inside the other and your thumbs are joined for energy. And you just put that in your lap. And then you look straight ahead. We're going to close our eyes and we will breathe seven times to the count of seven. So we breathe in our nose really deep and in our head, we're counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you say, hold two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you're holding it deep inside you, the air. And then you breathe it out like you're breathing out cigarette smoke to the count of seven. Just two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, the exhale should be longer than the inhale, ideally. If you have not meditated before, if seven is too difficult, just go to the count of five. I'll be doing the count of seven to get us started. And then I'll just be saying some channeling, some prayers for healing. And I'm going to give you like a minute or so to do your own gratitude and prayers and wishes for what you desire in your life or in your love situation. Okay, so that's how we'll get going. All right, so we're going to close our eyes, cup our hands, join our thumbs, and here we go with breath one, two, Three, four, five. Six, seven, Dear God, as we are joined together today as a new family, new friends, some acquaintances, some old friends, I thank you for being in our life, in our light, in our hearts today. We all ask you and come to you with humble gratitude and thank you for the many blessings that we do have in our life, our ability to breathe the air, our homes, our children, our health, our family our goals and dreams that we believe in. And we know that you guide us to create those lives that we do desire and believe that we can reach those goals and dreams. We thank you for watching over our loved ones that we cannot be with today. I thank you personally for watching over Charles and letting him heal and letting Stefana and the boys be clear of any illness and in good health. I thank you for watching over my friends and our members here tonight, our new family, to keep them safe and strong and smart to do whatever they can to be safe as they journey amongst their days and in their work. I thank you for guiding them in their hearts to be the kindest, most loving humans that they can be and reach out to others in the way that they can to serve and heal and inspire others to grow and be their best selves as well. We thank you, God, for the purpose that you give us to live, the meaning behind our work, and the determination, devotion, dedication, desire, and drive that we need to keep going, even when it's hard or we're tired, that we know that helping one soul makes all the difference in the world. We thank you for these people here tonight that are with the mission of helping to change the way the world loves. They will be a shining example for you, one of your angels that will share the love and light as they journey 
each day forward. They will think differently about gratitude and start their day thinking about the blessings they do have because we have been given many. You have given us all the potential that we need to help change the world in positive ways. We can be the example, even if we're small, we're mighty. We can be the example with each person we talk to or touch or help or guide in our work that they can see that we're an example of love and peace and devotion and gratitude for all the blessings this world has. We all pray for the world's healing. We all pray for hope. And despite who comes our next president in the U.S., we ask you to guide him with love, devotion, fairness, kindness, empathy, and devotion to the people of our country and to be a shining example of our country and to our brothers and sisters around the globe. Let us know that we are all one hearts, despite our skin color, despite our sexual preferences, despite our age, we are all the children of God, of the universe. We all have amazing potential, no matter what our mothers or fathers in their own hurts and wounds, their own childhood traumas and the ways that they might have treated us and did not know a better way. We extend forgiveness. We remember and choose to remember the good times with our mothers, with our fathers, with our friends, with our lovers past and present. We work hard to forgive the rest. We know that forgiveness is the highest spiritual concept we can have. We will always strive for forgiveness from our hearts and our souls so that our hearts will be open to always love again and feel true happiness. We know that people can be weak and we appreciate and forgive those times. We can learn lessons from the bad. Let us remember that that's the lessons that we're here to learn. In Buddhism, they say relationships are our lessons. Let us learn from them, be stronger and wiser, and really develop this core concept of spiritual forgiveness and unconditional love. That does not mean we have to be with those who abuse us and can't learn a better way, but we can release them in love, remember the good times, and forgive the rest. We are your soldiers, your angels, and we're here to learn a better way. Continue to teach us and guide us, and we won't give up faith. To our new brothers and sisters here tonight, I thank you for your devotion and dedication to this message to go out and give the world more hope, more love, more kindness, more gratitude, more unconditional love, more smiles, especially to those in pain, to help the stranger that looks like they are in such pain and knowing that we're making a difference. This is what we're here for. This is why we're here. We love you. We appreciate you. We need you every minute, every second of every day. We thank you, dear God, for all our blessings. We come to you with love and gratitude. Amen. Take two more deep cleansing breaths. And slowly just open your eyes and come back to the room. And hopefully you're feeling a little bit lighter. You're feeling a little bit more grateful, peaceful, loving, and this message will carry with you for the week. That is called a spiritual divine meditation. I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to make any comments in the chat, if that if you felt different, some people feel lighter, some people get emotional, some might get a little teary. It's all cleansing. It's all good. Meditation, like I said, does change the brain. It is proven in science. Five things to lower your blood pressure, lower anxiety, lower depression, lower your cortisol levels, which is your fight or flight response, which keeps weight on and stress on and increases dopamine and serotonin levels of the brain. You just need 15 minutes a day. Hopefully you will feel a difference. I hope you enjoyed that. 
Okay, now I want to get into tonight's lesson for singles and for couples. Some I've already mentioned, but I want to make sure that I cover what I prepared in my notes. And then I'll share a little bit with you about Motivational Monday and how that works. Love Beyond Your Dreams, Break Free of Toxic Relationships to Have the Love You Deserve is a five-star rated book and quoted as the guidebook on love. An Amazon number one bestseller, this book clearly tells you who to date or avoid and why, how to heal from toxic partners, how to date to attract an emotionally healthy partner, and how to have loving, safe, fabulous, and sustainable relationships. Over 400 pages of eye-opening facts based on research that will change the way you love. Available in paperback on Amazon.com and in BN.com, in the Barnes & Noble bookstore, and on e-readers Kindle and Nook. Get your copy now and read it cover to cover because it's time you have the love that you deserve. First of all, I'll work with my singles. Singles eventually become couples, so I'm going to teach you some couple skills as well. We want to make sure that your dating is more enjoyable, more loving, and more kind. So many people put so much pressure on them. Like, is this the one when they go out? And they put pressure on themselves and on their dates, and they show up to their dates very anxious. And instead, I want you to look at dating like, I'm just meeting a new person. This could be a fabulous new friend. Show up with a smile. Again, I don't want you to take dates with just anybody. I want you to be very selective. I do rewrite all my clients' online profiles. It makes a huge difference in who they're meeting, but we want to make sure it's somebody very compatible to your qualities and your traits within you. And if you're working on the mindset work that we teach, you're very evolved. So you don't want to go out with someone that just says, looking for chemistry. If you don't have chemistry, we're not a match. That's someone very shallow in their growth. Okay, so if you're a deeper, more spiritually based person, you're looking for qualities of someone. So it's very important that that comes across in your dating profile and in who you are when you show up. So you're just showing up with that open heart and open mind full of possibilities. The worst case you can be friends. If it's somebody that's rude, you can later say, it was really nice to meet you. I just don't think we're quite a match. And you release them in love. You don't send anything toxic. You don't be mean. You don't ghost someone. You treat them as you would want to be treated. Be selective, especially in the time of COVID. Don't text the whole lot because you shouldn't be going too much into who you are without meeting someone. Before you have a phone call, you do want the last names. So I'm glad I have men on the call. Men, you want to make a woman feel safe. The number one need in the cave woman's brain is safety. Why? Because she's a child bearer. And ladies, you need to know the number one thing that a man wants in caveman brain is attraction. They can't help it. They are made to procreate the race. So you always want to show up looking great because that is important to the men. But men, you have to understand a woman is different. She's not all about chemistry. She wants, will I feel safe with him? Would I trust him? Is he a good person, a good soul? So put those kinds of words into your profile. Not that it's all about chemistry because women just don't feel the same. Yes, there has to be an attraction factor. We all say, can I make love to this person? We get it, but it's not the most important thing. So realize that the biology of the human is different in the man and the woman. Okay, really important that you appeal to those needs within each of the sexes. Start with the self-love to bring that positive energy to your day because when you really like who you are, you know you're a good person, you know you're honest and trustworthy and you're a kind soul, then you're going to show up and you're going to have so many dates attracted to you because they're just going to really like you. They're really going to like who you are. It's really quite amazing with my clients, we do become the choosers of who we choose to have a relationship with. I mean, I kind of say as a joke, but I was asked to be married nine times. So it's not like we can't choose who we want to be with. <laughs> when you have this beautiful energy or this sunshine about you, you know, people want to be in your life, but then we get to choose, are they the best match for us? And if not, you still, you know, you can release them in love.
You want to have all the dating education that you can. My education when I teach my people is based on research. There's definitely do's and don'ts for dating. It's a shame that we all did not get this in high school. And I have a triple master's in psychology. You would have thought I would have learned the, the aspects of the quality relationship in a master's program, but I did not. So it was all the research that I wanted for myself and my clients. And once you have that, it really becomes quite easy when you're educated because you don't have to think about it so much. You know the do's and the don'ts. You know what you're looking for. You know the red flags and the warning signs, which are really important from people that do not quite have their life together. There's still a lot of toxic attributes. And you know by asking certain questions that I teach what they are. And you, again, you have one date, which we call one and done. If you don't feel it's a match, if you're not sure, you have the second date and you're asked a little bit more profound questions, and then you'll know the do's and the don'ts. And if you've experienced toxic love, when you heal the childhood trauma and you are educated in the do's and don'ts of the dating, it becomes crystal clear very early on who is toxic or who is emotionally healthy. It becomes quite easy. So you want to know that you will become more empowered, more confident, and then you just relax and you enjoy the person who's in front of you. What I describe is there's definitely a psychology, a spirituality, a philosophy, and skills around safety and communication for dating that makes it successful for you. As a matter of fact, you know, these things became so prevalent to me, and that's when I developed the Success in Dating course. It's a starter course. It's self-study. You can do it anytime. It's really reasonable, and it is one that tells you the do's and don'ts and five lessons and then it's like you can do it in one weekend and go out on a Saturday night and feel so much more confident that you know what to do and what not to do. So important. The ability to attract who you desire, knowing that childhood trauma piece as well, is so important. And it's not about chemistry only. As a matter of fact, falling in love by chemistry alone is one of the worst things you can do. And the sad thing, especially in the States, is that's how we grew up thinking, well, if there's chemistry with someone, this is going to work. And the research is the chemistry draws you to the toxic personality types from your past because it's what the soul and the psyche know. It's normalized and it's more comfortable. So when some people say, well, I liked him, I just didn't feel anything. And it's like, well, tell me more about this person. That person might be ideal for you. Okay, so it's a different way of thinking and being when you're on your dates. And when you get this and you understand it, the psychology behind dating becomes so much easier. As a matter of fact, Shoshana, who just joins us, is one of my happily married couples. Yes, she came to me in a toxic relationship. We got her healed from that, and she's now happily married. It's awesome. The importance of gratitude and forgiving the past. Like I said, the past must be healed so your heart is open. There's no negative energy. You have gratitude for the love that you did have. Who's to say that 30-year marriage is the best way to go? People stay in 30 and 40 years marriages and they're miserable. They fight the entire time. Or is it better to have shorter, beautiful relationships and everyone you thank with gratitude, but maybe it didn't work out in the end? You know, there's no right or wrong here. Just bringing your best self to the relationship and making sure you're not contributing to any of the toxic behavior. And if toxic behavior comes up, that you insist on getting help for yourself or you and your partner and do that together. If you're on a date and you're asked about your past exes, some people go into a long story and then they do these blame stories. You don't want to do that. You can say, you know, we had some really wonderful times together, but it just didn't work out. And I forgave the rest. I hope they're happy or I heard that they're happy. And then you drop it. Two sentences is all you need with no details. If they keep going on about their exes, that is a red flag that perhaps they're not healed about it. There's still anger around it. If there's a toxic ex in the picture, I would not continue to date that person because they have not worked out their issue, especially if there's children involved in that relationship, then we know that the children could still be angry. I always say only date if they're totally available, not someone that's in a relationship or married, even if they're separated, they're still legally entangled in a relationship, let them finish that and then go off and date. 
So you want to make sure they are totally single and available to date before you accept a date from someone. Okay, if you have questions, jot those down because I'm going to take your questions at the end of this topic here. Now, let's go into couples. During this time, there's a lot of couples fighting and breaking up, and that's why I really wanted couples on my call tonight, too. This is really a time to be each other's best friend and offer unconditional love. There's a lot of stress going on. This is a time to maybe take on new growth, get new books, go to the library together, pick up some spiritual self-help, pick up my Live Beyond Your Dreams book, which is about the mindset for success and unconditional love. Read, learn, ask each other's questions, learn board games. Remember those, the game of life? And what were some of the other ones? Monopoly that I used to play as kids. You know, pull out the board games, learn some cards, play cards together, learn a new hobby. Maybe you do it separately or together. But create space for each other too. I know some people are still, I'm one of them still afraid to go to the gym. I might instead want to go for a walk or go to the beach and have some alone time where I can do my course creation work or write a podcast. And I just need quiet and solitude and beautiful nature to look at. My ideas just start flowing. So give your partner create space, time to create and talk to each other about working as a team within your house, you know, taking turns for cooking or cooking together and learning new things. I just got this HelloFresh cooking system. It's really kind of cool. They give you everything you need, even like they say garlic clove, and there's a garlic clove there. Sour cream, it's a little pouch of sour cream, but you still have to cook the meals and they give you the full recipe. That would be cool to do together. And it's not expensive. It's amazing how reasonable it is, cheaper than if you had to buy it all at the grocery market. And it cooks two meals. You could either do that one night, or if you're single, you have two meals that you cook. And it teaches you a new hobby of cooking if you never had the chance to learn it. So this is an important time to create something new. I created the Success in Dating course last spring. I created this Motivational Mondays recently. Because I'm thinking, what can I do to help my people bring you know, something motivational that's every week? So create, do something different, try to keep working as the team and get your kids involved with the team. Kids like to feel helpful and they need to learn skills like cooking and cleaning and wash and folding laundry. They need to learn these skills. What better than now? that they're all forced to be home, that it's like, we need your help. Mom and dad needs your help. We need you to work as a team. And that being a single mom most of my life was what I needed from my girls. And it taught them to be very responsible. To teach your kids these skills. My girls were out on their own by age 19, totally supporting themselves in two different cities. One was in New York, one was in LA. Well, you have to teach them these skills, the banking skills, you know, the value of money. I have write about something in the parenting chapter in the Live book about star chart. And this worked for my students that were acting up inside the schools. I had all the quote bad kids in in the school and they turned around, you know, and it's like, I know you can do it. And if you do it, you get a sticker. You pick the sticker you want for the elementary level. And then they picked so many stickers and then they got to go into my treasure chest in my office and pull out four surprises. Well, it's amazing how their behavior changed around. We call that behavior modification. And it works for younger people and it works for adults too. And gratitude goes a long way. It's training your partner in a way that you know that they appreciate it. When you say to your partner, thank you, babe, for doing that for me, I really appreciate it and mean it and say it from the soul they're going to want to do it again for you, right? Behavior modification. It's not difficult, but too many people drop the kindnesses for those people that they love. So be a team as a family. Talk to your children about how much you need them to help out, how much you love them for helping out, how proud you are of them for helping out. It makes a huge difference in the family system. Okay, second, passion is positive energy for the other. I'm so glad I have men on the call tonight. Men, you also need to know biology-wise that the sexual center of the brain for the man is seven times that of a woman's. A man very often makes a mistake that a woman should be as sexual as he is and wants that sex all the time, putting a lot of undue pressure on the woman to the point where she's like, I can't. 
or how, what excuse do I have to come up with? Or she fakes that she's sick because some men just can't accept I'm not up to it tonight. The men can quickly have sex by just thinking about it. A woman needs to have her five senses engaged to feel more sexual. So taste, sound, touch, sight, smell. Okay, so the ideal for a couple, and I say you've got to put your partner first and get the woman out of the house. If you're trying to only date her in the house, she's like, oh, I got to do the, the dishes, or I, I got to do the laundry, or it's always the to do list. Get her out of the house. You don't have to buy expensive dinners. Just go get some drinks and then some appetizers somewhere. Listen to music. Dress nice for her. Smell nice. Tell her she looks pretty. How can you appeal to those five senses? And like, she'll be able to relax and get away from the kids and so forth. We call this date night for couples. And you have to continue to always date your partner, even after marriage. I remember I had a husband in my office and I was telling him this information. And he's there, well, why do I have to keep dating? Or I married her. I said, do you still want to have sex? And he goes, uh, yeah. I said, well, then continue to date your wife. You know? I mean, this is so real so core, uh, so important that you continue that romance factor the best that you can. And if money's tight, go take a walk on the beach, go take a hike, go watch the sunrise somewhere pretty, go take a day drive. So it doesn't have to be expensive. It just has to be meaningful and words go a long way. So make sure, you know, that she's hearing your words of appreciation for the men as well. Ladies, please, you know, make sure you tell your man that you appreciate what he does for you as well. Okay, so bring out that positive energy. Don't make it all about sexy activity. It's everything that comes before sex that makes sex good. That's the secret for women, okay? Also, there's a lot of fighting around politics right now. Oh my God, it's okay if your partner doesn't want the same politician as you do. Let it go. Let them have their own belief. If you don't get along in the voting thing, just say, hon, vote for who you want. It's just important that you vote and leave it go. You don't want to bit push your partner. You don't want to control them. You're two different human beings. You come into this relationship with different ideas and values and way of being. Let them be that person you fell in love with. If you keep trying to change and push them into someone else, guess what? They turn away and say, I totally lost who I was. I'm not happy. And you have this fake persona of what you wanted, who you tried to mold her or him to be, and they end up not being happy. Hold on to who you fell in love with. Let them be that individual. Let them vote for who they want to. Don't be judgmental. Now, if during COVID you're concerned about your partner overindulging in alcohol, drugs, maybe they did pot recreationally, now they're smoking pot every day, or they did alcohol on the weekends on your dates, now they're drinking every day. You have to pick a good time to talk to them heart to heart. So not while they're doing it, or not at the end of the night when they're loaded, maybe the next day, not right in the morning, they might be hung over. So maybe around noon, okay? You say, hon, I need to talk to you. I'm very concerned. I love you. I miss what we had. I know we're going through hard times, but we have to be strong for each other. And I'm worried because you're drinking every night now. This was not how it was before COVID. And I'm getting concerned. Can we do something about this? Okay, so we use team language or we language, not you're drinking too much, you're getting drunk, you're pissing me off. That's lame language. Okay, so communication is really important to keep the love in the relationship, keep the respect. And I know it's a new way of training. It's a new way of being, getting these communication habit down is very important and it's hard to change it up, but we can get you there. So just focus on the good, but when you have a concern, you don't hold it inside. You have to have the communication, but it has to be with a calm and loving heart and that you want what's best for the team and the family. If you have children say, this is not a good example for the kids. I can see the kids are getting stressed out. If we were calmer, the kids will be calmer, which is absolutely true, by the way. It's funny, all the parents that used to drop their kids out off my office, they're like, fix my kid. I'd say to the teen, I said, do me a favor and wait in my waiting room. And I said to the parents, come in, I want to talk to you. How often do you fight in front of your children? They get really quiet. And the are not, not often, not at all. 
women's like every couple of days. Children don't know how to filter toxic behavior around them. They don't have the emotional maturity to do it. So they start acting out. They might misbehave or they might start doing drugs or alcohol to escape. So if you are parents, have as much peace as you can within your household. And if your partner is acting up or doing something that creates moodiness or anger, if he won't change, then I say to my couple, start couples coaching without him. Come to me, let me work with you. And eventually, nine out of 10 of my couples, that second partner will come into me. And like I said, I work with both straight and LGBTQ couples as well. So it just takes one person to initiate the change. And what will either happen is you will get stronger and they will see, wow, she's, she's different. She's going to leave me. She's happier and she's empowered. She's not yelling. She's not falling victim to the stuff I'm putting her through. And she will become empowered. And either you're going to leave that toxic relationship because it's no longer working for you. It's not healthy for you or the children. They're better off in a one-parent household. Or they're going to step up and say, you know, I do need the help. I had one man, one husband pick up my love book while she was coaching with me. He refused to come and called me later and goes, uh, yeah, I'm Marie's husband. And I have like 10 of these uh, toxic behavior traits in the beginning of your book. And I said, well, you're ready to come in. You're welcome anytime. Yes, I'm ready to come in. So I saved the marriage. He ended up selling the old house and buying a new home together in a new neighborhood because he had affairs in that old home. It was best that they moved on from that. So long story short, if one person starts in a couple, the second partner often comes around. Shoshana says she wants to speak. So that would be great. One other point, Shoshana, then I would love to have you add into that. The importance of gratitude and forgiveness of your partner. Again, we are all imperfectly perfect. We are all trying to be the best that we can in a very difficult time period. The more faith-based spiritual components you have in your personality, the easier it will be to navigate when times are tough. Research shows the happiest and longest lasting couples do practice some kind of faith together. And again, not religion necessarily, some spiritual ideas together. Don't hold grudges. It doesn't work. It doesn't do anything. Don't get passive aggressive and shut down. If you need time, you shouldn't push your partner to talk if they're not ready take the time. We call that a tea break or a therapeutic break. Take the time. And then it should be only like an hour to two hours. And then you come back with some ideas of how you could help solve the problem together. Forgiveness is a huge part of a happy relationship. But again, if there was clear boundaries, like there should be no cheating in our relationship and someone is out there cheating, obviously that's toxic behavior. And they have no empathy towards the rules that you created as a couple. That's something more to talk about. Forgiveness of past love and family relationship is very imperative to moving forward with peace and confidence in your coupled relationships today. Okay, Shoshana, unmute your mic. If you'd like to say something, that would be great. Uh, hi, everybody. My name is Shoshana. I am going to give you a little bit of background before I jump in and validate some of the points Rihanna was making. I am 31 years old. I currently work in the IT field and I have been with my partner for three years. We have been married for about a year now. One of the things that Rihanna helped me with, well, she's helped me with many. When I met Rihanna, I was coming out of a very toxic relationship, a very abusive relationship. It was verbally abusive. It had begun to get physically abusive and it was a little challenging for me to detach myself because uh, she had a child from a previous relationship. So that made things very difficult. A lot of what I learned in Rihanna's program had to do with some of my own childhood traumas that I had brought into that relationship. And those were also the same childhood traumas that were not allowing me to get out of that same relationship. Through Rihanna, one of the things that she taught me was dating with a purpose, which helped me to meet my partner. I did go on quite a few dates just to get a little bit of practice with asking those questions, those meaningful questions. When I finally met my partner, I knew exactly that she was the one. I had asked all the right questions. 
I had my list of non-negotiables, the things that I was not going to compromise on, and proceeded to take my time, but pursue that relationship, and it worked out. Yeah. I know some of the questions that I see everybody, some of you asking in the chat is, how do you navigate some of the current stress due to COVID? My partner and I don't have children. One of the things that we had to put on hold at this time was our IVF procedure. We did have a miscarriage back in January. So not only were we navigating through the stress of going through that, we had a new sense of family responsibility. I have two nieces that are two years old and they spend about five days a week with us. So it was all these new, these new challenges. But one of the things like Rihanna was saying that are very important is making sure that you set those boundaries correctly with your partner. So even though tensions may be high, it's important to use words like, I feel like as opposed to blaming them directly. My partner likes to keep the counter very clean and she came to me one day having to pick everything up off the floor from the kids and they're grabbing it. It felt a little cluttered. So she came to me and she said, I feel like that you don't pay as much attention to putting things back in their place as I may have. And when you don't do these things, it kind of gives me this feeling of anxiousness because the countertop is cluttered from all the things from the kids. That example right there is a good way to communicate with your partner without blaming them. But there are situations where, you know, we have to course correct. She may say, hey, you did this. But instead, she realizes, she says, you know what, I apologize for approaching that incorrectly. I just want to express to you how I'm feeling in this moment. It is also really Perfect. important to, to let each other finish when you're speaking. So even though you may be in the heat of an argument, it's really, really important that you give your partner the opportunity to speak so that they have a sense of feeling like they've been heard. My partner did have a little bit of some trauma from her past. When we got into the relationship together, it did have that, that sort of imbalance, right? It felt like I had worked a little bit more on self-development than she did. Through the work that I did with Rihanna, I was able to lay some really solid foundations at the start of my relationship that have been able to carry on throughout. And sometimes we do have to revisit those things. But if you're somebody that's in the relationship as a single or as a couple, this isn't a sales pitch. This is 100%. I didn't know where you were uh, coming Rihanna. tonight. It's so nice to see you pop in the room. I know. I, was, <laughs> I saw the email and I'm like, I got to make this call. Ah, you're such a um, sweetheart. Thank you. Yeah, but these are some of the things that Rihanna can help you with. And I'm available. If you want to reach out to Rihanna, get my contact information to, Thanks, uh, to share with any of you that may have any questions or just want to share your personal experiences. Um, I'm very open to talking about my past traumas and how I overcame some of them. So I'm really excited to meet all of you and grateful that you all uh, were able to join this call with Rihanna. And I look forward to connecting with you all individually. Ah, thank you so much, Shoshana. She's from my area here in Florida. One of my Florida clients, before I closed the, the local office, we actually traveled to Las Vegas together. She would help me during a convention that I was having on trauma right after the shooting out in Vegas. And I said, come on, we need to go out and, you know, blow off some steam. We've worked hard all day. And it was funny because she said, you know, you talked to me about when you are Shosh, you can probably say it better than me. But when you are in a spiritual way, we become the choosers. And it's so easy to attract people wherever you go. And she says, I really never knew what that meant until I saw you in action. We went to the Bellagio, I think, to a nightclub. And she said, I can't believe it. You walk in the room, boom, someone asked you to dance. Boom, someone wants to get you oh. a drink. Rihanna, I, I just came across some of those uh, pictures from there. We would literally just walk into a restaurant and she didn't have to look anybody's way. I, I know it sounds absolutely crazy. You have to witness it in person, but people would just flock to her. I mean, there were men asking her to dance and asking to buy her a drink. And it's all about your energy. It's about what you put out in the universe. I know somebody mentioned in the chat spirituality. That's very important as a single, but as a couple as well, that you find some level of spirituality to share together. True. Uh, but yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Thanks so much for coming in tonight. I always love to have my graduates in. Shoshana is a VIP Diamond client. Natalie's with us tonight. Natalie, I don't know if you wanted to say anything, and then we'll open up the mic for questions from anyone else. And then I'll also go into what it's like to join the new group. Natalie's yes. a current diamond client. Yes. Almost so, done. Almost, yeah. <laughs> I just agree with everything that Josh has like really explained really well. I'm kind of like in the middle of it. So I'm just kind of getting there, but I've just noticed the whole transformation just 
on how much I needed to change and how much the responsibility was on me to change in order to have something different happen in my life in order to make things run in a different kind of way. And I honestly don't think I could have found anyone better than to help me through this whole process. So it's not just the relationship. I've got all these multiple layers of different things going alongside the relationship. I mean, everything that Shosh has already explained just like, you know, applies to me as well. And yeah, thank you I think so what, much. Welcome, Natalie. I yeah. think what we found happening with you, we took a high state of anxiety. And again, when anxiety is high, cortisol is high and focus is down. And Natalie had a lot of things on her plate to finish in a short period of time. One thing that's really important is the goal setting of your life and what do you desire? So her desire was to sell this home and move back to her country of Australia. She's now in the US. Then we had COVID to deal with and just putting that all together and making her feel confident in the process that the sale would come and it came with what, three days, I think the first open house, she got two offers, she had a bidding war. And I said, no, get get 10,000 above what the guy's Mm. offering you, go for it. Mm. And she got that and everything is just moving so well. Despite that there's a lot of chaos around us, we can create our world that it just works very calmly. And keeping that meditation going, it's almost like we're in the Zen state And when anxiety comes up, it's like, it now is our friend. Oh, okay. I feel a little anxious. What's out of balance? (laughs) Maybe I haven't exercised too much lately, or I need to go see my kids, or I need to go hang out with my friends. And you just kind of ask. Your body and mind become the system that it's supposed to be working and giving you the messages that you need to hear. And you don't really need to be a spiritual person either. It's kind of, it's already there. And I would kind of, for those that are not inclined spiritually, who are not there or it doesn't really matter to them, it's kind of like a higher belief system. Like there's something higher out there that we don't know. And working with Rihanna, I was just opening, I was already spiritual, but I just didn't know how to open myself up fully to that full trust. And it wasn't just trusting the process, it was trusting Rihanna's work and all her knowledge and wisdom and drawing in that spirituality just really anchored everything in for me. So when I was acting and doing everything and I was coming from a much more secure and confident place, I wasn't the person that I, that I was doing all this. It was the combining everything and anchoring it in me and fulfilling the plan that we had set and put together to achieve yeah. all these goals. Yeah. And it's pretty cool. At the end of the program, we do a plan for your next six months and we go back to module two, which is your life wheel and all the goals that you have. And it's like, oh my God, I reached them all. Yeah. It's yeah. really neat to see. It's amazing. I was talking to Oya, one of my other Diamond graduates who's now married, living in a beautiful beachfront home, has a new little girl. And she's there, Rihanna, I look at that module two and I just shake my head. She goes, everything I wanted has come to me. Like everything I wanted to create in my life, I have it. She's just so grateful. It's just cool to see, like I said, my family coming on, Shoshana and Natalie and all the others that I've worked with that have been so honored to work with over the years. I have been given this blessing to be able to work with you all and your trust. And like I said, those of us that had come from childhood trauma, it's not always easy to trust somebody to share your heart and your pain and your soul. But when you start the process, your trust and confidence grows and you just have to open your mind a little bit at a time. I'm used to that. I'm used to the fear-based and original thinking, the negative thinking. I get it because I know what you all have been through to some capacity. I'm there to help you through it. Are you feeling down, lonely, fearful, and frustrated when it comes to dating? Have you had repetitive, toxic dates and relationships, but swear it will be better next time? Well, there's a reason you keep attracting the same type of partner, which we call same person, different face. It's called childhood trauma. Now, I know what you're thinking. Your childhood was pretty normal. 
because that's what most people say. But research shows that 90% of us have had at least one to three of the 10 described childhood traumas. Do you want to find out what yours might be? Just go to rihannamilne.com and take the four free love quizzes. And while you're there, download the free ebook called Why Not Out of 10 People Struggle in Life and Love and What You Can Do About It. That's rihannamilne.com. And let's begin your journey to healing and personal transformation in life and love. Do any of you have any questions and feel free, I'm sure Natalie or Shoshana will answer questions for you as well. If you want to unmute your mic or ask me anything about what you learned tonight or something you're struggling with in particular. I can Hi, have- Omar. <laughs> Hi, thank you for, um, for this meeting, by the way. Sure. You said to date people who are like emotionally available or just available. And so how would I figure out if somebody is that? And so I just started talking to somebody from uh, a site, but they are a self-described workaholic. Okay. And I don't have any experience in talking to anyone who is like that. So how would I be able to tell if they have the availability to be talking to somebody? Okay. When anyone ever describes they have an addiction, believe them. It could be somebody that is starting out a new project and that we know that we have to put the hours into it. Like when I was building my life and love training academy, that was an incredibly grueling project. And I knew I didn't have time for dating, right? So I put that chunk of time aside and say, I'm focusing on that. So you can get to the bottom of what is their work? Is it a special project? Do they have balance and time today? Or are they just lonely and they're putting themselves out there to chat with someone? You want to ask the questions to learn a little bit more. If it's like, oh, I'm just working on this project. I need like three months of solid time. You could say, well, then why don't you contact me when you're done so you can focus? You seem like a nice person. I'd like to know you when you have time for dating. We never have to be mean, right? We always answer, but we also respect our own boundaries and what we're looking for. If you really are at the stage where you want a relationship, this is where Shoshana was saying, I knew my non-negotiables. I knew what I was going to accept and not accept, right? So we do that in my courses. We get that really down so that when you're solid about what you exactly want and what you don't want in your life, the decision becomes easy. There could be chemistry for someone that's amazing, but they're not going to match where you are in your life right now. Just release them. And we know the world is abundant. There's plenty of people we can meet. You want to get to the bottom of what they're saying about themselves. And again, be careful. You're not only going on chemistry and giving up everything else that's important to you. That's very helpful. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome, honey. Anybody else have questions? Actually, Rihanna, if I could just go back a little bit to what you were suggesting to Omar. Omar, so one of the things that that I encountered during this process is I did meet quite a few people like that. They were very caught up in their work or they were very caught up in their extracurricular activities, right? Uh, They had children. Don't be afraid to move on. Don't sell yourself so quickly to get in a relationship, right? There's sometimes feeling of anxiousness. Oh my God, you know, this person they're very attractive or, you know, what we both love going out dancing. Don't be quick to sell yourself. Just continue moving on. Even if you continue engaging with this person, don't make everything about this individual yet. Do give it some time. Continue to ask questions. I met some of those people that were workaholics as well. And the way that I look at it is, is their job going to be a priority over the relationship? Are they going to have the ability to balance the relationship as well as work? And the only way you can determine that is by not selling yourself so soon. Make sure that you're asking the right questions. You're going in there with a purpose, that you're really connecting with the person, getting to know them. One of the things Rihanna told me at first was she's like, there's like this no sex rule. We're all adults here, so we can talk about this. (laughs) But there was like this no sex rule. And I was like, this is crazy. Whatever. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to humor her and I'm going to try this. And my partner and I went on dates for several months before there was any type of physical connection at all. And it really gave us the opportunity to connect, to bond, to focus on the things that were most important. So making sure that we shared a spiritual connection, that we had the same goals, the same ambitions, that we were looking for the same things in the relationship. If that helps you at all. And now she's married. I know everybody likes to fight me on my 90 day rule. They're like, what? Uh, You're crazy. It has to be like first five dates. I'm like, no, it's not a good idea. We met July 15th and it was, oh God, well later into the year, but you know what? That's all. (laughs) 
We had to go to Vegas Thank first you. and party, right, Rihanna? Before that's I came it. it. <laughs> that's it, girl. We got to go celebrate your wedding for Thank sure. Thank you. Yeah, that's very helpful. <laughs> You're welcome. I, I want Shoshana to be one of my coaches. When my clients who go through the VIP programs are done, they are such beautiful, amazing people. They'll pop on, they'll speak up, they have no qualms. Like they just know how much they've learned. And they understand, like I do, like when people first come to me, the high anxiety, the depression, feeling stuck in life, feeling unhappy, they're like, oh my God, you don't have to be this way. There is the whole other side. I call it going over the rainbow. There's that pot of gold that when you get this stuff, your life is never the same. It's totally different. Like I said, it's very research-based. Like she said, she didn't like the no sex rule for 90 days. I'm like, it's all in all the research. I'm telling you right now, you know, it's not Rihanna's rule. It's a rule based on research that there's better, more profound, happier, and longer lasting relationships if you wait sexually. And again, that's a relationship-based and friendship first, that unconditional loving friendship. And that's what I was talking about for couples to show that again during this tough time of COVID and so forth. Great point for both of you. Thank you. That was a great discussion. Anybody else have questions? Hi, how are you? Uh, uh, very good. Thank you. <laughs> Do you also work on the locked in memories in the body? Because I, I know that a lot of people have problems with the memories that are locked in, in their bodies, but they don't recognize those. And then uh, also they can have a lot of problems with <laughs> building new relationships because yes. of these problems. Yes, I'm a what's called a CCTP, Certified Clinical Trauma Professional. And trauma does stay stored in the body cells and the brain. And this is why people have anxiety. It's a way of what the body is absorbed all this stuff and it's still stuck in there, believe it or not. So I have to do the mindset work, the physical work, the meditations, the faith bases, all these little techniques, one builds on top of another. And we're retraining the body and the brain to think and be different. It takes a little bit of time. My VIP clients work with me from four months to six months. All the trauma work says, ideally, I have you guys for six months. But I came up with a four-month program, both wonderful programs. They really, really work. If you can just open your heart and mind to learning and trusting it, it works amazingly. That is the trauma response system, but it comes out different ways too. It can come out in overeating. It can come out in yeah. migraines, irritable bowel syndrome. It can come out many different ways, the trauma that's stuck in there. We got to get it out and we work one-on-one. -on -one. That's the VIP is one-on-one -on -one system. I've been doing this for many years and have lovely success stories all over the world. It's fabulous. The next step, Kay, is just go on to the website on the homepage. There's that orange button for the Life and Love Transformation Session. It's my website, rihannamilne.com. And it says, sign up for a Life and Love Transformation Session. And then I do the five assessments with you, and I can get really to the bottom of what's going on for you. And like I said, I've been doing these for years and years with my clients. I'm really quick at it. I, I put all the different puzzle pieces and the patterns together. And then we work from what you need with the system that works based on what your needs are. It can be male or female, younger or older, uh, Shoshana's lesbian or straight. It doesn't matter. With this childhood trauma has no prejudice. It impacts 90% of the people around the world. And most of the people are holding it inside. Hi, Rihanna. It's Shosh again. Yeah. Um, Kaya, I think I understood what you, what you meant. I interpreted it, I think, in a little bit of a different way. So through the program with Rihanna, when I had discovered some of the traumas and some of the things that were uh, causing me to act or react a certain way, Rihanna has always had more of a holistic approach to overall healing. And one of the things she actually recommended that I try towards the later part of my program was acupuncture. Now, I found a very good Chinese acupuncturist, and in Chinese medicine, they be believe that any type of emotional or spiritual aim ailments are attached or come out a physical pain. So one of the things that I, and I'm going to share a little bit of personal, one of the things that I experienced in my life was a lack of support in my childhood, a uh, lack of support from my parents. And throughout all my early younger teen years, I struggled with back problems into my early adult life. And that was one of the things that I discovered in my program with Rihanna 
when I went to acupuncture in Chinese medicine, they believe that lower back pain is attributed to a lack of support in your life. Uh, I have now been in acupuncture for about four or five years. At one point was going twice a week, but I have kind of dropped it down to every other week. But if you are looking for some type of way to release or remove some of the physical ailments associated with emotional pain, acupuncture is a great approach for that as well. With Rihanna, I was also introduced to Reiki, which is something else that helped in my healing. We actually uh, did a session of that in Vegas, didn't we, Rihanna? Yes. <laughs> yes, she was there as well. I still actually talk to her. She's phenomenal. Oh, is, do you? Um, That's anyway, cool. If you're yeah, she's incredible. But if you are looking for any type of physical, acupuncture is a great outlet, a great resource for helping you move the energy that is trapped inside of your body associated with the emotional and spiritual pain. That Massage you may be is really great too, deep Massage, tissue. Massage, yes. Yeah. Rolfing, if anybody is not familiar with Rolfing, that is also a little bit more of an intense massage, but all of those things help move the energy that may be trapped in your body in a certain place. Body cells, tissues, everything's affected. Thank you, Kaya, for your question. Hope that helped. Anybody else? I have one more question, but it regards more about being like an entrepreneur and developing I have some skills in photography and I just left my serving job. I think I can contribute. I think I have some pretty good ideas on how to work with other people, but I get easily overwhelmed because there is no set guidelines or no plan. So like sometimes I can do photo shoots and editing, but there is no overall plan. Like I don't know exactly what I want and I don't know if what I'm working on is what I should be working on or something else. And okay. so I don't know how to measure my success. Okay, so what we do is that is a big part of the life coaching. My programs are half life coaching, half love coaching. So the life coaching is part of living your purpose and your career. You have to be happy there too. You can't look for love to make you happy in all areas, right? So you want to create that life that you desire, which includes the career that you want. Natalie, for example, says, I want something different. So we have created for her her new career when she goes into Australia, going to be a coach for green spaces, green energy inside the home and office because she loves nature and greenery and feng shui. So she's going to be coaching on that. So we've already created and we have more work to do now that we're coming towards the end of her program. So she can get started as soon as she's in Australia, starting that business, you see. So when I have the amount of time that we need, like, um, Natalie being in a diamond program, which is 20 sessions, we have six months to look at everything and career is one of them. So we definitely get you zoned in, focused in on what it is, the direction you want to go on based on your desires, based on what makes you feel happy. Because when you feel happy at your career, you're going to want to do it. You know, you're going to love doing and going to work every day. So mm -hmm. you know it's photography. So, I mean, there's so many different avenues of photography. My daughter's a brilliant photographer in Orlando. Um, and there's many different areas. And she tried one area and she goes, you know what? This is a lot of work. I'm going to switch over to this area. So it mm -hmm. doesn't mean you're ever stuck. You're only limited by your own creativity. The important part, as I said, just start in one area that you think you're like. And you can always segue into the next one. Mm -hmm. But on my website also, I have, I'm a coach's mentor. I teach a very long list of things that people who want to be a coach, they contact me and they say, I want to be a coach in this area. Then I say, well, go pick from my list what you would like to start with, whether it's writing a book or starting a podcast or creating programs for online, creating an ebook so you can tell people about who you are and your services and the free gift. You know, I teach people all these different things. I've been career coaching 21 years as well, helping people get their dream jobs. My Casey, who's still with me now, she just got her marketing director job that she wanted. It took her like a week to get it. She goes, oh my God, it's the title that I want. <laughs> we do whatever it is that, that is bothering you that you want to grow into. Everybody mm -hmm. is different. Some people may love their career, but want to go to the next level. Some people may hate their nine to five and want to start as a coach. It really depends where you are and what kind of help you need there. Those that love their job, I'm thinking right now of Kirsten. She has a great job, a very high paying job. And while she was with me, she got an amazing promotion. So most people are so happy 
in their life and their energy that the next level just seems to come or this great offer comes to them. This is what we call under the course of miracles, where when you get your life moving with a positive mindset for success, it comes in many different ways into your life and career is one of them. So Perfect. we would focus so on that. Yeah, sure. Anymore. I want to take a minute, if you will allow me, and you might have other questions come to you to share with you about the Motivational Mondays. It's called Motivational Meetup Mondays. We start on November 2nd and we go to January 4th. It's 10 Mondays in a row, seven to eight, like tonight. I usually go over because I want to make sure I give you good service. It's just the way I am. We do one topic a week, like we did tonight. We did some relationship work tonight, but we cover spirituality, balance in life, mindset work, healing. These are all super important, like the spiritual awareness for life happiness. We touched on that a little bit. The balance, uh, like Shasha and I were talking about, going from stressed out to having balance in life, career, relationship. Really important that there's conscious awareness around that. The mindset, getting beyond the fears, the doubts to that personal power, the confidence, feeling just happy and happy and joy, whether you're out dating or in a coupled relationship, you know, having the confidence to speak your feelings, healing from any past negative parental relationship situation or love situation. So you're not taking that anger and the anxiety forward in life. You need to learn to trust again purpose, creating that purpose. This is where Omar, we would dive into, well, what is your purpose? Let's nail it down. Let's get deeper into that goal setting to create the career that you love. Health, healthy mind, healthy body. I go into diet because the body's got to be strong. Body and mind are so super connected. And I do a lot of studying on this. So I'm up on the latest techniques and body, mind, vitamin therapy, all my clients are on vitamin therapy, the daily health for mind, body, spirit, and happiness, conscious awareness. Consciousness is big. You think, yeah, yeah, I can be conscious. It's not as easy as you think. I know Natalie and Shoshana would confirm that. It is a daily practice to make sure you're not going into negative self-talk or put downs or doubts or fear-based dark thinking. We always are trying to live in the light, in positivity, in joy, capping the negative thoughts, making sure that you're positive in what you do, what you say, what you write. Conscious awareness, only about 4% of the population live in conscious evolved awareness. So it is a daily practice, but when you get it, your life just totally changes. It's quite amazing. That's very important. We're always going to be working on that. Parenting, for those that are parents, I want to teach you how to make your kids successful, evolved, happy, calm, loving kids. And if you don't have kids and you're still struggling with your parents, we'll go into some parental dynamics, how to deal with a difficult father or mother, communication skills to talk to them with love, not anger writing the therapeutic love letter for healing, all of that. Dating, answering your dating questions as you go along, the essential skills to finding the one. Relationship do's and don'ts, we'll get a lot deeper into that. We have 10 weeks to cover them. Communication skills. Each week, you're going to learn new skills. We'll have the open Q&A around each lesson and then answer your other questions like I did for Omar tonight. So any concerns that come up, I want to address them each week. And then each week you will find that your confidence goes up, your purpose, your focus, your goals. And so you'll have the weekly coaching with me and the friendship of the group, which is really great. You can see that when you learn this system, everybody is so kind and so loving and wants to be helpful and supportive. That's just the way we are. It's a really cool family to be a part of. <laughs> okay. Each week you get the inspirational open meeting the divine spiritual meditation around the topic that we're working on, a lesson per week, Q&A around the lesson, open Q&A about your concerns, a closing inspirational reading just to set the tone for the week. You will work on the certain exercises I have here for the week. I don't like to call it a challenge, but it will be an exercise to practice what you've learned so that you are changing your personality and your way of thinking by practicing what you're doing each week on that particular topic. And then you have the support from me through this COVID stuff, 
through the holidays. So we're all isolating a lot more than normal. Working with your fears, working with dating or you as a couple, it's open to singles and couples, everyone. Again, because all this information works for everyone. There is no prejudice when it comes to trauma. There's three ways to enroll. And the girls that know me know like this program I'm offering to you guys is like super, super reasonable. And I'm like, what can I do to get people involved at a really low price point so everybody could afford it? Really, my coaching per hour is a thousand an hour. That's what my programs are. So for 10 hours or more of coaching, it's $10,000 on a regular day. This advertised price for this program is going to be $14.97. It's what we call a beta program or a brand new program. I am allowing people to come in as ambassadors. There's only 15 slots for that. To be an ambassador, you have a little bit of responsibility, but it's not hard. And I want your honest feedback so I can make the course the very best that I can. In the early days when I was doing the coaching with the workbook, Shoshana was in like, Shosh, were you there in year two for me when I was here in Florida? Like 2015? I met you in 2016 and I graduated from your program in 2017. Yeah. Okay. And I always like their feedback. Like, what can I do better? Because I'm always trying to make it better. So this is a new program. It gets you all through the winter. The ambassadors are only paying $7.97 for the whole program. And you get $2,200 in bonuses. So all you have to do to be an ambassador, A, is get in to be one of the 15. So first come, first serve. Review each class. So you have to attend every class, but that's for your own benefit anyway. Just send me an email at the end, what you liked, what you learned, what could be better. Help me with a Q&A, like Shoshana just jumped in there, or if some people are shy, you might ask the first question to get people rolling. Commit to every class. Always attend on video because it helps people to bond more in the class when we see each other's faces. Do a final review of the program for both a video testimonial and a written testimonial that I can use for your headshot. And just help me make this the best class ever. That's it. It's pretty simple. That's what it means to be an ambassador. If you're interested in that, please let me know. Email me. It's Rihanna Milne at Gmail. Okay, real simple. Everything's RihannaMilne.com, Rihanna Milne at Gmail. But I really am happy to have these ambassadors be a part of this. I think it'll make that class really fantastic. For people that don't want to be an ambassador, it's still super cheap and it's only $9.97 and I'm giving you $2,200 in bonuses. So there's four bonuses because there's singles and couples here. Everybody gets a free life and love transformation session. That's a $500 value. If you're a couple, you also receive a 30-minute couple session after I do both your individual sessions. So I can start creating some goals for you to work on together as a couple. If you're a single, instead, you're going to get your online dating profile edited for you so you can attract a fabulous partner, start really looking with specific things in mind. Like I said, my editing is based on facts of what works on profiles. Trust me, they work really well. You all will get an attendance bonus. All you have to do is attend every class. I always do that for my groups because it keeps you showing up, keeps you motivated, and keeps you learning. I know my programs work. There's no doubt in my mind. All you have to do is show up and do the work. And for this, there's no workbooks. My Dating to Mating program and Relationship Rescue are very deeply intensive books. There are 150 pages. I know my clients get my trans the transformation they want in the VIP programs, but there is no workbook for this. So the work is show up and practice what I give you each week. It's not going to be difficult. It will be purposeful. You all get a bonus for that, which means I want to meet with you afterwards to help you with your individual goals, any final questions one-on-one -on -one with me for an hour. So that's a $1,000 bonus. And then I'm going to give you all my ebook of Live Beyond Your Dreams, and Mindset for Success. So you can start reading that as soon as you sign up. So by the time we start the class, November 2nd, you already have that book in your mind because I'm going to be resorting to the mindset a lot. So I'm just going to give that to you through the ebook. Those are all the bonuses for each, whether a single or a couple, the bonuses value of $2,200 alone. I mean, it's 10 hours of coaching with me. I am offering a payment plan if that's easier for you. It's three payments of $350. 
So all you have to do is sign up, commit $350. So that's payment one of the three. And the other two are done in one month by November 19th and December 19th. And you'll save $447 still by making the auto payments. And you receive $1,500 in bonuses. So if you pay in full, you do get more bonuses. It's an incentive, but you'll still get the pre-class life and love transformation session. It's very important that you and I work together to do those assessments. They're critical. So we know that what you're working on. And then second, you'll get the graduation bonus too, just because I love when everybody comes to class because the success rates are out the roof. And then we all depend on each other. And what I like to do in group two is I give you an accountability partner somebody that's kind of might be going through the same thing you are. And then you can talk throughout the week or email each other for support. So that's your accountability buddy. Sign up at my website, rihannamilne.com forward slash motivational dash Mondays. That's rihannamilne.com forward slash motivational dash Mondays. Hurry, because class size is very limited to keep this as a small and intimate class so you get the personal transformation and attention that you deserve to have. Just take the first step. You can do it. Unleash the greatness within you. That's Motivational Meetup Mondays starting November 2nd. Sign up at rihannamilne.com forward slash motivational dash Mondays. And again, it is a $10,000 value. It's fabulous. That um, sounds like an incredible program, Rihanna. Sorry. To is that available for graduates? Yes, baby. Come on in. All right. <laughs> yes, oh, it's open nice. for anyone. The grads, totally new people, people currently with me. Men, women, younger, older. Just, so if you're a parent and you have somebody. I, yeah. just, I just want to share with the group because I know you, you gave an introduction to me at the beginning uh, and you shared with the group that I am your assistant. I help Rihanna with her, some of her technical needs. But my testimonial tonight, uh, my sharing my story with you guys, I don't get any type of compensation from Rihanna. As she stated numerous times, she has been trying to get me to join as one of her co-coaches. But I seriously, I make, no money off of talking to any one of you individually or joining these sessions. When I met Rihanna, as I put in the chat earlier, if some of you didn't read, I found a pattern in my life where a relationship ended and I would lose a job. And when I met Rihanna, I was broke. I was beyond broke. I was at the point where I couldn't take out any more loans. My family wasn't available to help me. I was facing eviction. I was just in a hole of all holes that I could be in. And Rihanna offered me the similar option for coaching and joining her program like she is offering you all tonight without hesitation. I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do uh, to pay this off, but I'm going to join this program. And I spread it out across three credit cards, which then became maxed out. And I had like almost no way of living, but I, I paid for the program and it was the best decision I ever made in my life. I tell her that all the time. Oh, thank uh, you. When, Rihanna, when you tell people practice gratitude, uh, you come up often in my gratitude meditations. And I know I share with you often how grateful I am for you and the experience of uh, having met you and gone through your program. But I just really wanted to share my story with some of the people on this call tonight. And like I said, if any of you are at all hesitant about joining Rihanna's program, there's some of us on here who are living testimonials to the success of going through a program with Rihanna, committing to yourself, working on yourself, you will find true happiness, live the life you deserve, right? Create the life you desire and have the love you deserve. And you, you're a great time. example of that, Shoshana. You've done both Thank early you. on and you got job promotions too, every step of the way. No, I seriously, I like I was broke. And then all of a sudden I got like a six figure a year paying job and was doing phenomenal. And I had yeah. clients like all over the place at Omar. I was starting up my own business. There's a lot of opportunity, a lot of things that if you're need right now, you're feeling anxious, you're feeling overwhelmed, you're feeling trapped. There's a lot of things that Rihanna can work with you on and help guide you through. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, like I said, it's a nice surprise that you pop on. Some of my grads just pop on last minute. I'm like, oh, you're here. How nice. You know, but you would make a beautiful coach, Shoshana. All of the graduates are just such amazing people, but you, you know, you're fond in my heart, of course. And I'm so happy for your marriage and your happiness. You deserve it. You went through hell and you deserve every bit of it. Thank you for sharing your story and being open.
that it was very nice of you so that they can understand how it works. Because it's kind of hard for me to do it as the coach. It's so much easier to hear your stories. This is what I'm offering, guys. It's 10 weeks solid coaching through the winter, through New Year's Eve. I'm here to help you individually. If you want to be an ambassador, get the low price, guys. But to sign you up immediately, it's a, that's Motivational Meetup Mondays starting November 2nd. Sign up at rihannamilne.com forward slash motivational dash Mondays. I want to see if you have any more questions. There's my email there, rihannamilne at gmail. If you have any other questions, as one of my clients said, and they said, you're the compassionate coach who cares about who we really are and our personal transformations. I hope you got that feeling tonight. I hope you're leaving here feeling a little bit more empowered, a little bit more zen, a little bit more peaceful, a little bit more motivated to share your love and purpose in our world. You can all do this. Let me see if there's any more questions from any of you tonight. Yeah, sure. Amar. Would you also recommend this like Motivation Monday for someone like me based yes. on- Yes. <laughs> I'm just uh, unsure if I want to do like the Motivation Monday or more so like one-on-one. -on -one. I just don't know the- Okay, so this is what you do. If you think you want to get in, get in as an ambassador, okay? And then the next step is let's give you your life and love transformation session. Let me get to the core of what you're struggling with. And then I'll be glad to go into the, all the different programs and then you can decide. This is definitely something I think I want to recommit to. Omar, I have a question for you though. What is holding you back from making this commitment? It's something new to me. I haven't like I've, previously worked with like a therapist or like uh or i could tell that we kind of i agreed with a lot of what she said similarly with rihanna so i don't know it's something new to me it's, so i'm just like i want to make sure that like when i spend my money that i do feel like i get i make the, the best of it and so i, I just want to know what i'm committing to That's you're committing to yourself i'm going to answer that for you right now like i said i make absolutely no money off of talking to you the hesitation that you are feeling right now is the exact hesitation i felt the first time i met rihanna I came to Rihanna as a therapy client. I actually met her through a program, a therapy program that my em employer had offered. It's true. And yeah. I met her and I was going to her and she was acting as my therapist. But she said, honey, I'm going to be real with you. You need a lot of work and it's a lot more than what I can offer you as a therapist. And I said, okay. And she goes, here's my coaching program. Here's the benefits. And I said, Ree, listen, I don't have that kind of money right now. I'm going to need a little bit more time. And she goes, okay. Tell me how much time you need. If you have any questions, I hope that you call me. Without hesitation, I got home and I said, what is holding me back from making this commitment to myself? What is holding me back from making such a decision? I mean, the cost of the program that she's offering you for right now, the, the Motivation Mondays, even the other program, is far less than the program that I committed to. And by no means am I trying to diminish the value that you may hold for the money that you have. But what I am saying is that don't sit here and question Rihanna about why you should commit or you want to know what you're committing to. You're committing to yourself. This is an investment in yourself. This is an investment in your future. It's no different than investing in a 401k, except the difference is you're the one that's controlling the variables. So if you're at all hesitant, Omar, please think about what it is that you want to work on. Think about where it is that you'd like to see yourself, where you'd like to be. And I can guarantee you, I, seriously, I can guarantee you that Rihanna will help guide you there. Listen, she's not a magician. She's, she can't snap her fingers and say, here's your blooming photography business and you've got this partner who can balance work and a relationship with you, but she can help teach you some of the skills that you need to make all of your dreams come true in life and in love. Just have to show Perfect. up. Thank you. That's literally it. And if you have any more questions, if you need somebody to connect with on a personal level, if you would like to know my story, my traumas, my stories, and the thing that I overcome, the things that I have overcome, please reach out to Rihanna, get my information. I've already let her know. I'll be happy to have a conversation with any one of you that might be a little bit on the fence about making this financial decision and committing to change. Perfect. Thank you. And Omar, what we would do, like You're I welcome. said, we'll do your life and love transformation session once you commit to Motivational Mondays. Once I know more about the trauma piece, if you want to apply that to a platinum or diamond program, then you do it then. The VIP programs, you can read about them on rihannamilne.com. The one for singles is called Dating to Mating. 
And the one for couples is called Relationship Rescue. And again, if you're in a coupled relationship, and Kay, it sounds like you might be in a coupled relationship and your partner doesn't want to do it, you do it anyway, because it's going to change the whole dynamic of your relationship. But I'm just that compassionate about really wanting to see the transformation for you guys. It's that important. But I appreciate your questions, Omar, because other people might have this too. That was a good one. Anybody else have any questions on the program or anything we talked about tonight? No? Okay. Then I want to finish with one more motivational reading, 10 Ways to Cultivate Gratitude. And here's the, the book that I'm reading from, The Day Book of Gratitude. Realize that life isn't always fair. Accept what you must and change what you can. Think before you act, which we call conscious living. A moment of carelessness or anger can cause years of anguish and regret. Look for the beauty in life, in people, in nature, and in yourself. Appreciate what you have, the people, the opportunities, the material possessions. Make the effort to have fun. It's a great way to bond with others, and it makes some of the best memories. Set aside time for yourself. Do something you enjoy without feeling guilty even a little bit. Accept others without judgment. Everyone is unique, and it's okay to be different. Actually, it's a lot of fun to be different. Forgive. Bitterness and resentment hurt you more than the person you direct this anger and bitterness to. Learn. Open your mind to new ideas and activities, and don't be afraid to try. Dream. Make plans. Believe in yourself, and go for what you want. And I think that's a beautiful way to end the evening. I want to thank you for your loving energy and presence tonight. I love you guys. I appreciate you. If you have any questions, Milne at gmail.com. Remember, go out and make a difference in the world. I love you and thank you for your time, your energy, and your commitment. And thank you again to Shoshana and Natalie for your love and dedication to our program. I love you guys. God bless. Have a nice night. Okay, love angels and transformers, that's all we have time for today. I want to thank you for being a part of this sample class for Motivational Meetup Mondays. Again, if you're interested in joining us, you can be a single, a couple, age 18 and over, and all you do is go to my website, rihannamilne.com forward slash motivational dash Monday to sign up and join us. Classes start Monday, November 2nd and go till January 4th of 2021. Every Monday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, we will be on Zoom giving each other love, support, and guidance. I appreciate you sharing the love and the mission of helping me change the way the world loves by sending the show link to your friends that you love and care about. Please take a moment to subscribe to the show and give it a five-star rating and comment on what you like best about the show. Remember, you can hear all the shows in the archives at LessonsInLifeAndLove.com website, and you can easily share the show links from there. Remember to reach out for help during the week at my website, RihannaMilne.com, for the Life and Love Transformation Discovery Session. And while you're there, take the free love test and get the free ebook on how to have the love that you deserve. Because as always, I am here to help you create the life that you desire and to have the love that you deserve. Have a very blessed and fabulous week. We want to thank you for joining us on this episode of Lessons in Life and Love with Coach Rihanna Milne. Go to RihannaMilne.com for more resources. If you're really ready to take action to improve your life or love situation, apply now for a session with Rihanna. And remember, it's time to have the life you desire and the love you deserve.